know about he wouldn't have a chance. He's a big boy and he's violent and he's you know, very scary. But, you know, I've said on this show, I've seen him rock before. I've seen him uh, stagger before. I've seen him hurt. And I've seen him dish it out, too. Like, I've seen him, you know, on both ends of the spectrum have a good night and an average night and a bad night. But, you know, he always ends up winning. Uh, I won't deny and argue with you about uh, some of the cans he's fought. I mean, he has really uh, got a resume of hacks that he's fought. But that's not necessarily his fault that the heavyweight division is so weak and so pathetic that that... That's all he can fight. I mean, what the hell else is he going to do? Not fight? I mean, he, they, he fights whoever they put in front of him. And these guys are all bums. It's, you know, is that his fault? No, it is what it is. I think it's a, a you know, method of madness, if you will, in terms of it's, it, it's the, you know, era that he's in. It's the time that he's in. It's the year that he's in. And it's, you know, if and when uh, that he's dealing with. If you got to fight some guy that's in front of you because they force you to, there's nothing you can do about it. And when he's fighting is that he's in this mode right now where he's fighting all these guys because that's all there is in the division. And the best fighter that there is for him to fight is obviously uh, Anthony Joshua. But look, Klitschko's done. And Parker just got his ass beat by uh, Anthony Joshua. So it's time for those two to fight. And anything's possible in that fight. 